up everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a skincare haul this video is sponsored by skin store so all of the products in this haul are available at skin store skin store is having their biggest sale of the year for cyber monday and black friday well black friday and cyber monday but I have a bunch of really amazing products in here. Some things you've definitely seen me talk about throughout the years that are repurchases, as well as some products that I've had my eye on for quite some time. And I am so excited to share and get these tested out on my skin. So let's just get into the haul and I'll also go over some deals and share a discount code for the sale as well. So very exciting stuff. You can use the discount code DACY10 on skinstore.com. You'll get an extra 10% off. And the specific brand lines that I mentioned in this video, which you'll be able to use my discount code for the additional 10% off, are going to be Nooks, Yves Lam, Algenist, Unica Paris, Dr. Dennis Gross, Exuviance, and Neostrata. I wanted to look at my list so I didn't botch that for you. So. First product I am so excited to have back in my skincare routine is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. This is a lactic acid serum, and I know I've spoken about this in the past, but one of my favorite things about Good Jeans is the instant look of plumpness you get to your skin when you've applied this. And also for me in the past, I remember one of my favorite things about this product being how much it helped with clogged pores. I've got a little bit more visible texture on my skin again. I think that's from having to wear a mask a little bit more frequently when I'm out and about and um, it's just you know hot and sweaty under there sometimes and the clogged pores are starting to come back this really helps with getting off that you know dead layer of skin and just really keep the skin looking nice and fresh it really does give you that instant plumpness and I'd say within about a month of using it, that's when I really started to notice the hyperpigmentation and like darkness from post acne hyperpigmentation start to lighten up. It also does have just a touch of dewiness to it. Like it's not gonna make the skin look oily or anything, but you can see on the back of my hand, you get a good amount of a little bit of shine and it feels really moisturizing and I would use this morning and night and I've always loved the way this made my skin look before makeup application. This is the Neostrata Restore Gel Cleanser. I thought this would be a nice option to throw in my cleansing routine because this is a gel cleanser that lightly exfoliates the skin with the PHA, but it doesn't foam. So I typically really love super foamy cleansers, but I thought it would be a nice option to have something that's not super foamy so that I spend more time being mindful of how long I'm actually cleansing my skin versus just getting it lathered up and rinsing it off. I did use this a couple times and I liked how my skin felt cleansed without feeling stripped. That's a big issue for me. I'm super picky with cleansers, not because I think that some necessarily work better than others, but I definitely notice such a big difference when I'm using cleansers that are a little bit too stripping. They tend to leave my skin feeling really dry and then I'll get like those like broken areas on my skin if I get an eczema flare up. So I found this one to be really gentle and really nice and just a nice like morning time cleanser too because it's not too aggressive. I am so excited to have this back. I talked about this for years. It is one of my favorite lip balms of all time. Definitely one of the best for the winter time. It's from Nooks, the Revel de Mille lip balm. It is absolutely beautiful. It has this really unique matte thick kind of almost like I don't want to say chalky, but it's almost like pasty in a good way. It's got this really thick barrier protective quality to the formula and it really will just stay on your lips, stay put, and it protects your lips from, you know, getting wind burned or getting chapped. It's so nice at night. It's also a very comfortable wear because it's not sticky or ultra shiny like a lot of other lip balms that I really love, but I cannot say enough good things about this lip balm. I've been such a big fan for years. I go through <laughs> the full little pot because it's just absolutely one of the best protective lip balms I've ever tried. I adore vitamin C serum. I've mentioned in the past that my skin can tend to be quite reactive when it comes to topical vitamin C serums. 
oftentimes I get an acneic response to them and I'm using one currently right now that I really like but it's just about up and I did want to try a new one because I'd love to talk about other options on my channel that don't cause acne as a result of the topically applied vitamin C and I thought this one looked really promising. It's from Dr. Dennis Gross. It's the C Plus Brighten and Firm Vitamin C Serum. Now the reason I was intrigued by this one specifically is because it does have niacinamide in the formula and niacinamide can also be really helpful. So much about vitamin C is that I personally have a lot of visible dullness in my skin, uh, especially during the winter time. I feel like I wake up in the morning and my skin just looks really dull, like I need a good exfoliating, a facial, uh, and vitamin C over time really helps negate the dullness in my skin. So it's definitely one of my favorite products and I'm super excited to try this one. I also really like how it has a little bit more of a gel-like formula. It honestly feels quite similar to some of my hyaluronic acid serums. So I'm hoping that this one will be quite moisturizing as well. Yon Caparis is a brand that I've also had my eye on for a while and I really wanted to try one of their products. I thought a serum would be a great place to start. This is the Elixir Vital. The ingredient that drew me to this one specifically is the vitamin E. It's also loaded with a bunch of other really great ingredients, but vitamin E specifically, because I personally have noticed for my skin in the past, vitamin E has been one of the biggest game players in helping prevent dermatitis, but also heal my dermatitis. I'm sure you guys remember back in May through July, I had really bad visible dermatitis around my chin area, and vitamin E was really that skincare product that I feel like when I was consistent with it, it went away. And I still do have some vitamin E that I apply topically every day, and I just feel like it's what's keeping the dermatitis away. Um, this specifically is also supposed to help just keep the skin looking really revitalized, soft, and help increase cell turnover. So this will be a fun one to uh, use and then like show you what it does for my skin. I was so intrigued by this as well and I've really been wanting to try a topical resveratrol serum. So this one's from PCA Skin. It's the Resveratrol Restorative Complex. Typically, whenever I see resveratrol touted in beauty articles or I listen to a lot of beauty podcasts, they talk about how resveratrol serums are supposed to be really great for inflammation. So acne is inflammation. And when I've been using these kind of like anti-inflammatory serums, that's also when I feel like my skin's looking really good. I've spoken about a few other ones on my channel before, but I don't currently have one. And I'm hoping that this could potentially be really great for helping prevent acne as well as redness. I've got a lot of visible redness in my skin. So I'm just hoping that this could be really great for preventing future breakouts, as well as helping tone down a lot of the visible redness that I have in my skin so that I can wear less um, you know, foundation and concealer and things like that. Uh, this one has a really nice, almost thick formula to it. It really holds its own when applied to the skin, but it's still quickly absorbed. So you don't have a lot of lingering feeling of the product on the skin, and I really appreciate how it's like almost kind of smoothing it has a little bit of a almost like makeup primer feel to the formula. This is the Alginist Anti-Aging, Advanced Anti-Aging Repairing Oil. And I have been wanting another face oil. For a while, I was consistently using face oil every single night as the last layer in my skincare routine. Sometimes I'll use um, like an ointment or something and just press it all over my skin. But I really like that protective barrier on top of my finished skincare routine because I feel like through the night, it really provides the skin with that you know like protective layer so that things are really sealed in and getting absorbed all the way into the skin so I wanted a nice lightweight oil that I feel like could be the final topper to all my skincare and I will say I love how lightweight this is this is so lightweight and fluid that I would even feel comfortable wearing it during the day I have not yet tried it with makeup but I do like it on days where I'm just wearing like skincare and not putting makeup on top um, but at night it really really is something that locks in all that hydration and moisture. And I can't speak to the fluidness of this product. It is so ultra lightweight. I don't know if I've ever used a face oil 
that is this lightweight. It doesn't feel oily. You know how sometimes when you use face oils, they're like distracting because they almost feel a little bit gooey on the skin and then you feel like it's just clogging your pores. I don't get that sensation with this one at all. Um, it's just so nice, very elegantly formulated and will pair well with other skincare products. Exuviance is one of my favorite skincare brands. I feel like this brand actually produces results. For my skin personally, I am such a big fan of their purifying mud mask. I've been pretty loyal to that for several months now and I really think that it helps so much with when my skin is feeling a little bit more on the fringe. I'm starting to notice uh, more visible clogged pores. I will pop that mask on, I kid you not, three to four times a week and it really just helps with purifying the skin and just getting that top layer of gunk out and one of the things that i had been seeing a lot okay exuviance also has a lot of really amazing moisturizing products anyway one of the things i was reading a lot of beauty articles and hearing about was oxygenating facial products so it's supposed to be really great for those who have a more dull skin type it's supposed to really help with just giving the skin more of a natural glow really you know bringing oxygen up to that layer of skin so that you get a little bit more of a visible glow to your skin to help combat that dullness so when i saw that exuviance had a illuminating oxygen facial I got really excited because as I mentioned, love this brand. I think it really does produce visible results in my skin and I'm so excited to try this. I did a little swatch on the back of my hand and you can almost immediately start seeing those little tiny bubbles start surfacing. So I can't wait to see the results from this. I feel like it's just hopefully gonna give you that like really nice, uh, you know, revitalized glow. I also got two products from Eve Lom. So Eve Lom, I have sung the praises of the Evlom SPF on my channel for months now. I think it is so cosmetically elegant. I don't get acne from it. It plays beautifully with makeup. It looks beautiful without makeup. It just really gives your skin a nice look, especially for being a sunscreen. And then I'm also a really big fan of the Evlom Cleansing Balm. I had that last year, um, completely used it up, but I have a cleansing balm in my skincare collection right now, so I didn't need a repurchase. But last Christmas, I actually got a sample of the Evlom moisturizing cream and I was blown away. I couldn't wait to finish up some other moisturizers so that I could use this regularly. I am mindful about how much skincare I have. I don't like to have too much skincare. I really like to use what I like and use it up to its entirety. So very excited to have this. It is rich and moisturizing and really gives the skin a sensation of ultra comfort, ultra moisture, but it doesn't feel heavy. And actually surprisingly for how moisturized this makes my skin feel, it doesn't make my skin look greasy. It's very beautifully formulated and I just love the whipped thick, it's not actually whipped, but uh, just the thick fluffy formula. It's so nice for a dry skin type. I think all skin types would absolutely adore it though, but uh, such a beautiful, luxurious moisturizer that just really gives the skin that long lasting sense of comfort. And I love it for morning as well as night. The other Evlon products that I got that I am very excited to start consistently using is the Eve Lom Advanced Brightening Serum. I have read lots of reviews about this being wonderful for people that have very stubborn hyperpigmentation or just all over discoloration on the skin that they want to help even out the skin tone. As I mentioned, vitamin C is really great for that um, as well as other antioxidant serums, but I thought why not try a true brightening serum to see if that could really help get rid of some of those ultra pesky hyperpigmentation marks that I have. I have some hyperpigmentation that I just really can't get rid of. And looking back on it, I've had some of these hyperpigmentation marks for over a year now. So I thought this could really be a saving grace potentially because I had read so many positive things about it. So I really do want to be consistent with this and focus on that underlying hyperpigmentation that I have. It's mainly like right in this area where I've got a lot of hyperpigmentation. And then I have a little bit um, up here from the mask straps. <laughs> I got some like acne up here. So uh, there's still some hyperpigmentation like a little bit higher on my face, which is kind of strange because I typically only get acne right here. So I have high hopes for this. Um, it's got a nice lightweight formula and I will be using this morning and night. 
So those are all of the products I got for this skin store haul. I am so excited to have some of my favorite brands and products back in my arsenal. And I also really wanted to focus on trying out some new serums because I actually don't have very many serums in my skincare routine right now. And I do feel like that's something that could be really helpful for certain skin concerns that I have going on right now. So another thing I did want to mention to you is that Skin Store doesn't only sell Skin Store. They also have um, hair tools, they have makeup, they have hair products, they have a lot of products and brands and things that I talk about on my channel. So definitely take advantage of the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale. They have a lot of amazing discounts going on. And sales and events like this are such a nice time to really take advantage of getting a discount on some of these amazing luxury skincare products or makeup products or whatever it is that you've had your eye on. It's a really nice time to stock up and get your favorites or try something that you've really had your eye on for quite some time. So I'm very excited to start using all of these and then get back to you on, you know, the differences that I feel like they made for my skin. So I, I will list and link all of these in the description box as well as some of my other favorites from the brand. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye everyone.